This is Zach Simeone with the New Zulu News Update. 200 body bags were placed on Brighton Beach in the United Kingdom in the morning of April 22nd in a demonstration organized by Amnesty UK to support a shift in Britain's policy regarding the migrant crisis in the Mediterranean, which is essentially hands off at this point. This comes just days after a boat capsized on Sunday, reportedly killing more than 800 refugees in the worst recorded shipwreck in the Mediterranean. British Prime Minister David Cameron had announced on April 21st that the UK would extend a helping hand in the ongoing rescue efforts in the crisis and would flesh out details of that plan during a meeting with European leadership on the 23rd. Xenophobia has become an increasingly serious issue in South Africa, where a recent wave of violence has led to seven immigrants being killed, many of them from neighboring African nations. A group of protesters convened outside the South African Embassy in London on April 21st to rally against the recent attacks, which have reportedly left thousands displaced in addition to the recent deaths. This comes not one week after a rally in South Africa on the 16th, which drew an estimated 6,000 protesters through the port city of Durban, where some of the violence has taken place. Sydney and the Hunter Valley in Australia are still reeling from a series of storms that left at least four dead this week, but cleanup is underway. This video shows workers with heavy machinery at Bondi Beach on April 22nd, where the famous skate park was blanketed with sand. The New South Wales State Emergency Service was reportedly called by 10,000 people and assisted with more than 100 flood rescues. Conditions are expected to ease throughout the day. For New Zulu, this is Zach Simeone reporting.